Miles Jackson from Cold Clark Guitars. Um, had a fantastic NAM. Uh, we've just got an award for Best in Show uh, for Companies to Watch, which is fantastic getting a, an award for an international company like ours. Um, uh, so thank you to NAM for that. And um, as far as some new stuff we're doing, we have a European maple, spalted European maple. This is actually from the hills around Melbourne, uh, from uh, Emerald. Uh, so it's a, a really good timber um, for, for guitar making. They've made um, uh, violins and cellos, and double basses out of for centuries. It's not super bright like um, Europe, a lot like US maple. It's a really nice tone wood. Um, looks fantastic. It's spalted. This one's got some figure in it. Um, this one, this one here has some. Uh, uh, you know, is, is super spalted. They're all different um, and, and they're great. We do these with a redwood top or a, uh, a or a bunya top. The other new back we've got is other new back and side timber is Southern Silky Oak. Uh, it's um, used by quite a few guitar makers. It's a beautiful uh, timber. Definitely need your snakeskin shoes for this one. It comes in a bunya top or redwood top uh, in, a, in a fat lady size. That's, that's that, that's you. Um, also the fingerboard. We're now using use a number of uh, hardwood, um, sustainable hardwood options. This is uh, River She Oak. Um, it's a really nice timber. We're using that for the bridge and the, 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 the uh, fingerboard. It's, it's a, a raid timber, so it's a, a very nice pattern on the fingerboard. It's slightly reddish in colour. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice fingerboard. It's, it's, it's a well-balanced sound with good brightness uh, and good cut. So yeah, we like it a lot. So that's a, a new thing as well. Let's show you the basics. Okay, hi, my name is Neil Kennedy here at the Cole Clark stand, at NAM 2018. Um, now, I've been building electric bases for oh, a long time, 30 years, and I build these multi-laminated, um, we'll call them high-end instruments, way too expensive, really. So, what happened was, Cole Clark approached me to design an instrument for them, based on my designs, and so we take what we have here with all these multiple laminations of timbers and systems, and From there designed, we'll call it um, the essentials, okay? Still the same Queensland maple neck, carbon fibre reinforcement, dual action truss rod, everything that makes this instrument work. But here we have a bunya pine body halves and on top of it, black wood. All right? uh, everything else about it is the same though. So we have the same pickups and EQ system, the same reinforcement in the neck, and the sound is comparable, and as far as I'm concerned, every bit is good in some respects, okay? Essentially, my instrument's minus the bleed. So what we have then is available uh, a four string and a five string, with either a blackwood top, a redwood top, or a Queensland uh, maple silkwood top, and a choice of fingerboards, which in this case we have an ebony fingerboard, or what is a um, uh, River She Oak fingerboard, which is my personal favourite, bright, crisp, responsive, and uh, gorgeous sounding. Australian price range starts at around the $3,000 mark, up to probably three and a half, something like that. Um, and I don't do these things as far as prices go, but you're in that um, three to three and a half thousand dollar ballpark, and the street price will therefore be uh, two and a half. Two and a half to three, something like that. Uh, again, what you're getting is a full neck to instrument, the best pickups in EQ, um, incredibly good construction, brilliant sounding instrument for uh, a very, very competitive price.